Hello, I'm Colin from HDCC TV. This video is about how to network our IQ range of DVRs. It applies to our 960H range and also our HDSDI 1080p high definition range. OK, let's get started. So we use the mouse, right click and then bring up main menu. So the first section of this video I'm going to show you how to get the uh, DVR on your local network. So we select this network button here. And as, as it comes out the factory, you'll get it set this way. So it's on static with these numbers in here. These will be the default numbers which don't relate to your system. So you click on the static drop-down box and select DHCP. What that does then, that asks the router to give the DVR an IP address. So you click apply. And then when you come out of the menu, it'll ask you to restart the system. So click OK and that restarts the uh, DVR. OK, so now, we'll, uh, now the DVR is rebooted, let's go back to the menu and back into the network screen. And we'll see now we've got an IP address here given by the router. Subnet mask and gateway are now filled in. So now these are the correct settings and the, the DVR is now on the internal network. Now it's good practice um, because this is set, this this setting here is set by the router. Um, if you had to have a power cut or the the router reboots, this this uh, IP address number may well change. So any any uh, any setting changes you make to your router later on in this video, um, it won't relate to this IP address if it changes. So it's good good practice to. Make a note of all these numbers, or even take a, take a mobile phone photograph of it, and then go back to this box here, select static, and then manually enter all the numbers back in, as you can see I did it earlier, and then click apply. So that will then, that will then always be the same. So the IP address of the DVR would be this, and that would be the IP address of your router. Okay, so to save that, click apply, come out of the menu and reboot one more time. Okay, in the second section of this video, I'm going to show you how to do port forwarding for the recorder. Uh, this allows you to access your cameras from outside of your network over the internet. Okay, now we've got a Netgear router here, so I'll show you with that. Um, all routers do things slightly different, be, differently, but it should give you a rough idea what, ne what needs to be done. So. Uh, we go into the advanced section of this Netgear and then advanced setup there is a section here that's called port forwarding. This might be called firewall rules or, or something else on your router but if you have a look at the manual under port forwarding it should should tell you how you do it. Okay so the first port we don't want to um, set up is the web port which is port 80. Now this this uh, router the Netgear one has a, a list of pre pre-made uh, setups here services here and the one, one we want is using the web browser which is this protocol here HTTP it may be listed as under web server on your router maybe under port 80 it may be just HTTP or web but that's the one you want anyway port 80 so HTTP and we're going to apply that to the DVR's IP address which if you remember back was 8 so we'll apply that and there we go so that's that's the first port forwarding setup. We've got HTTP, which is port 80, all the way through, and it's routing through to number 8. Next, we need to add port 9000, which is the media port. Now, obviously, there's nothing there that says port 9000, so we're going to have to make a custom one. So we're going to add a custom service, and we'll call it DVR port... 9000, just so we can find it easily. Uh, the service type can be, just leave it on both, but you can choose TCP, either's fine. So the starting port would be 9000, and the ending port would also be 9000. The internal starting port is also 9000, the internal ending port is 9000, so same port all the way through, and just put number 8. For, so port 9000 route through to number 8, that's how it works, so click apply. OK, and then one more to add, one more custom service, that's the mobile port. So we'll just say DVR 
mobile port 18004 so 18004 and assign it to IP address number 8 that's it, so we've got the three three ports there assigned to this IP address so whenever you try and access your system on a computer it'll come in on port 80 and route through to IP address of your DVR. A great way to test if you've done the port forwarding testing properly on your uh, router is to go to this website uh, yougetsignal.com and then on here we have a port forwarding tester select that one been a bit slow today for some reason but uh, when you get there you've got it puts in your your IP address and uh, the default port is 80 so let's check port 80 and we then get a return just underneath here it tells you whether it's open or closed there we go port 80 open so we'll just check port 9000 and the other one as well so we'll check that one that's fine and one 8004 and there we go all good all three are working all three are open and we're away ready to, ready to use it now this is your external IP address so you'd enter that information into your app or your browser and that would be the address you'd use from anywhere in the world okay that's all for now thanks very much thanks for listening uh, this is Colin from hdcctv.co.uk you can call us on 01952 505 696 thanks very much